Okay, so uh, here's the old fender. Um, when we bought the truck, it looks like uh, what I didn't know, and this is why you don't buy vehicles unseen on the internet. But needless to say, about this truck in Tennessee, and they they took some very strategic photos of it so that you couldn't see the damage that was done to the front driver's side fender. As you see it, it's got it's got some. Looks like he got into an accident. And matter of fact, if you you look at the uh, the bolt there, uh, you can see that real well. It's completely crushed. Uh, that holds on the the uh, front driver's side fender cap or bumper cap on the end. And then this is the uh, replacement. Uh, this was his original um, hood. You can see it's it's pretty busted up right here in the same corner. And uh, it looks like. Uh, he was trying, and I'll show you from underneath, he was trying to, you know, he's going to repaint it or something, never did. Uh, but this does appear to be the original uh, hood. And of course, here's these, uh, these bumper caps. Uh, they were held on with tape, and you can see they're all destroyed on the inside. There's supposed to be a little hook piece here, as you can see on this other one. Or actually, it should be right there. As you can see on this other one, that should be there to hook onto that bolt. That I was describing and uh, of course I'm gonna have to replace those so we've pulled all the parts off this thing um, and I went down to the uh, junkyard or to the uh, pull it you pull it place and uh, we're gonna walk out here towards this truck real quick uh, from a distance it really doesn't look much different than it did before because I pulled a hood from a, uh, a 90 a 97 blazer and it's uh, it's actually a it's got a blue finish on it, but it's uh, it's it's pretty solid. It's in good good condition, and uh, we're we can really work with that. But if you come down here, this is the replacement uh, fender, driver side fender, and uh, that came from a Blazer as well. And so one of the things that happens when they make these things, these are all cookie cutter type uh, parts at the. Uh, manufacturing plant and they just have different uh tap markers on the inside of the fender where they depending on which uh production line it's going to go in it's going to get drilled in different spots for different pieces because obviously the blazer has some different parts on it than the s10 on the inside so uh i more or less i just was able to the the scores were there so i was able to drill in the parts the holes uh into the fender that i needed to mount my pieces for this particular truck um, it's got a couple scuffs. It's got a little dent, but that's nothing that can't come out. And if you get down here and you're going to see, you can, you can see that that's the part that was completely crushed on the other fender. And of course, you know, we're going to have to replace this bumper. Um, I've got to replace these, uh, these turn indicators cause they're broken. Uh, and this is where that, that end cap goes. So. So as we come over here, you can see the other side, same situation. We got, you got an end cap that goes over the bumper and it kind of marries up to the, to the fender. And this fender is in actually really good condition. Uh, but you can see one of the things we're going to have to do is we're going to have to really kind of get, maybe get some, uh, a rubbing compound. You probably have to do some touch up because you get some stuff there. We're, we're planning on kind of like cleaning up the paint job on it for them. But, uh, Right now, what I'm looking to do is uh, uh, the reservoir for the uh, window windshield washer fluid uh, was cut. The lines were cut, and obviously, we're, we're missing the nozzles. I have the I have the little pump in the reservoir in the other in the house, and uh, I'll probably go down to a U pull it and uh, see if I can find uh, nozzles and and lines and connect back connect that back up. Uh, why you would cut that, I have no clue. Um, I got a lot of opinions about the guy that owned this truck before, and uh, he was either the poorest guy in the world and couldn't afford to fix anything, because we really haven't put any money into this uh, on parts. Uh, also, these these are going to go away, these uh, rear tail lights, and uh, we got to fix this all cosmetic stuff at least for the most part. Got to fix that. This tail light's pretty much just hanging on by a thread. It's also broken on the inside, so if it gets a lot of vibration, what happens is the the rear indicator light gets loose from the connector. That creates a short in the circuit. And uh, then what's fun is when he does that, his headlights will come on dim when they're not turned on. Uh, we also replace this grill. 
uh, I th I've already gotten rid of the other girl. The other girl was completely crushed over here and it was held on with with uh, more or less duct tape. So that's where we're at today. Um, if I, as I do more things to this thing, uh, we'll try and create little videos along the way and show you what I'm learning. All right, thanks.